Hi everyone, welcome to the seventh lecture of the series Kalman filter using Malla. In this lecture, we discuss the basic concepts and the derivation of the Kalman smooth. Here is the overview. We start with the basic idea of the Kalman smoother. Then we move on to the derivation and the algorithm of the Kalman smoother. In Kalman smoother, the measurement information at the time instant n are used for computing xk hat, which is the state estimate at the time instant k. So here n is the time horizon, and we denote L as the number of time instants up to which the measurements are used in the state estimate. And for Kalman smoother, we have L is equal to n. The Kalman smoother consists of a forward recursion, which is the filtering stage, followed by a backward recursion, which is the smoothing stage. So in basically, the algorithm has two stages. The first one is called as the forward pass, in which the state xk is estimated using the measurement information up to time instant k. Here, we compute xk given k hat and pk given k using a forward recursion, which is basically the Kalman filter algorithm. Now in the backward pass, we improve the estimate xk given k hat using the measurements yk plus 1 up to yl. So here basically we compute xk given n hat and pk given n using a backward recursion algorithm. So in the backward pass state, we require the measurement information yk plus 1 up to yn, which is not available at the time instant k. So in order to perform the backward pass, we have to wait until the system has run up to n time instant and the measurement information are obtained for all the n time instants. Therefore, the Kalman smoother is used for applications in which the real time estimation of the state is not required and it is mainly used for post processing of the states. Next, we move on to the derivation of the Kalman smoother. We consider the stochastic linear time varying system defined by equation 1 in which AK, BK and CK are the system matrix, input matrix and output matrix respectively. We assume that the disturbance DK, the noise VK and the initial state X0 as Gaussian random vectors with E of DK and E of VK as 0 and E of X0 can be non zero, which is assumed to be known. Also, the vectors XK, DK and VK are assumed to be independent, which basically means the corresponding covariance matrices will be zero. In the previous circuits, we had used an important relation of the expectation and variance of an affine transformation in which X and D are two independent random vectors with the expectation zero. Then we have E of AX plus D will be zero since E of X and E of D are zero. And similarly, variance of AX plus D will be equal to A V of X A transpose plus V of D. And the derivation of these results were given in lecture number three. And we use these results extensively in the derivation of Kalman matrix. Let's start with the forward pass algorithm, which is same as the Kalman filter algorithm. So in the forward pass, we compute the estimate xk given k hat using the Kalman filter equation, which is given in equation number 4. Here, the first stage is the prediction stage, in which we predict the state xk given k minus 1 hat using the model of the system. And the second stage is the correction stage in which we add the sensor based correction time to the predicted state. And also the variance matrices pk given k minus 1 and pk given k and the estimator gain lk is obtained as in the Kalman filter as in equation number 5. And here the lk is used in the correction part and this expression gives the optimum value of lk for minimizing the variance of the estimation error. And pk given k will give the variance of the estimation error. And this equation is known as the DRE for the Kalman filter. Now in the backward pass stage, we start with the expected value of xk given xk plus 1, which can be obtained using the conditional expectation equation as in equation number 6. Here, LSK is the smoother gain and it will be an n by n matrix since here the correction time contains the state times instead of the measurement times. We define the error state xck given k plus 1 as xk minus xk given k plus 1 hat for which the error dynamics is obtained as in equation number 7 in which we substituted for xk given k plus 1 hat from equation number 6 and substituted for xk plus 1 and xk plus 1 given k hat. 
here we obtained xck given k plus 1 as an affine transformation therefore variance of xck given k plus 1 will be equal to i minus lsk ak into variance of xck given k into i minus lsk ak transpose plus lsk into variance of dk into lsk transpose we define pk given k plus 1 as variance of xck given k plus 1 and qk as variance of dk this gives pk given k plus 1 as in equation number 8. Now in the Kanman smoother, we define the cost function j as e of xck given k plus 1 into xck given k plus 1 transpose, which is equal to trace of pk given k plus 1. Then from the first order condition for optimality, we require the gradient of trace of pk given k plus 1 with lsk should be 0. This gives lsk as in equation number 10. We can also obtain the smoother gain from the conditional expectation formula, which gives LSK as variance of XK comma XK plus 1 into variance of XK plus 1 inverse. And here we can substitute for XK plus 1. And in this, only the terms with XK will appear since XK and DK are independent and the terms with UK will cancel. Therefore, this will simplify this to variance of XK into AK transpose which will be pk given k into ak transpose and similarly variance of xk plus 1 will be pk plus 1 given k therefore we have lsk will be equal to pk given k into ak transpose into pk plus 1 given k inverse next we move on to the computation of xk given n hat and for that we use the law of iterated expectation which is also known as the tower property for the random vectors x y and z, the law of iterated expectation gives e of x given y as e of e of x given z given y. Now, if we substituted x equal to xk, y equal to yn and z equal to xk plus 1 in the above expression, we obtained xk given n hat as e of xk given yn which is equal to e of e of xk given xk plus 1 given yn. From the previous equations, we have e of xk given xk plus 1 equal to xk given k hat plus lsk into xk plus 1 minus xk plus 1 given k hat. This will give xk given n hat as xk given k hat plus lsk into xk plus 1 given n hat minus xk plus 1 given k hat. We define the error vector xck given n as xk minus xk given n hat and the error dynamics is obtained as in equation number 30 in which we substituted for xk given n hat and added and subtracted xk plus 1. Here minus of minus xk plus 1 will be plus xk plus 1 and xk plus 1 minus xk plus 1 given n hat will be equal to xck plus 1 given n. And similarly xk plus 1 minus xk plus 1 given k hat will be equal to xck plus 1 given k. Now we define the variance matrix pk given n as variance of xck given n. And from here we have variance of xck given n will be equal to variance of xck given k plus lsk into variance of this term into lsk transpose. Which gives pk given n as pk given k plus lsk into pk plus 1 given n minus pk plus 1 given k into lsk transpose. Next we move on to the Kalman smoother algorithm. In the first stage of the convergence smoother algorithm, we compute and store xk given k minus 1 hat, xk given k hat, pk given k minus 1, and pk given k for k equal to 1 to n using the Kalman filter algorithm. Then in the backward recursion state, we start from k equal to n minus 1 and go backwards. And then for each k, we compute lsk using this equation, using which we compute the smoother estimate xk given n hat and the variance pk given n using the Kalman smoother equation and the differential card equation. So here xk given k hat will be the estimate obtained from the Kalman filter and xk given n hat will be the smooth estimate which is obtained after adding the correction time to the estimate xk given k hat. Basically the Kalman smoother gives the expectation and the variance of the state vector in terms of the smoother estimate xk given n hat and the variance pk given n respectively. And in the next lecture, we discuss the numerical examples of Kalman's motor and its simulation. 
that completes this lecture thanks for listening